adsorption. Surface chemistry. It's a branch of chemistry in which we deal with the study of the phenomena occurring at the surface or interface, that is, at the boundary separating two bulk phase. It is observed that when charcoal is added to the vessel contains some gas or aqueous solution of solute, the molecules of the gas are attracted towards the surface of the solid and remain over there. This phenomenon is called adsorption. Here the solid adsorbed on the surface is called adsorbate and the substance on which it is adsorbed is called adsorbent. The reverse process, that is, removal of the adsorbed substance from the surface, is called desorption. The cause of adsorption is due to net unbalance or invert force of attraction, that is, surface tension in liquids and free valencies present at the solid or liquid surface, having the property to attract and retain the molecules of gases, etc. Absorption. It's a bulk process, that is, occurs throughout the body of the material. In this phenomenon, the concentration is same throughout the material with rate of absorption. For example, ammonia gas placed in contact with water will be absorbed into it. When both adsorption and absorption take place simultaneously, such a process is called sorption. Adsorption are of two types. One, physical adsorption. When the molecules of gas get adsorbed over the surface of adsorbate by weak van der Waal force of attraction, such that there is no formation of any chemical bond between them, such adsorption is called physical adsorption. Characteristics of physical adsorption Heat of adsorption is low. No compound formation takes place. Process is reversible. It does not require any activation energy. It increases with increase of pressure. 2. Chemical adsorption When the molecules of gases get adsorbed over the surface of adsorbate by forces which are similar to the chemical bonds, such adsorption is called chemical adsorption. Characteristics of chemical adsorption Heat of adsorption is high. Surface compound formations take place. Process is irreversible. It does require activation energy. It increases with increase of pressure. The graph between the amount of the gas adsorbed per gram of the adsorbent, X by M, and the pressure of the adsorbate at constant temperature is called adsorption isotherms. At a value of Ps of equilibrium pressure, X by M reaches its maximum value and then it remains constant. This is called saturation stage and Ps is called saturation pressure. Freundlich in 1990 gave an empirical relation between X by M and pressure P at particular temperature which can be represented as X by M is equal to K P raised to power 1 by N. N is greater than 1. To test the validity of the equation, take log both side. We get log X by M is equal to log K plus 1 by N log P. The graph between log x by m against log p give a straight line. The isotherm for the adsorption of the solute from solution can be represented as x by m is equal to k c raised to power 1 by n where x by m is equal to mass of solute adsorbed 
C is equal to equilibrium concentration. Adsorption finds extensive applications both in lab and in industrial level. Some of them are as follows. 1. In gas masks manufacturing. 2. In clarification of sugar. 3. In high vacuum production. 4. In softening of water. 5. In separation of inert gases. 6. In fourth flotation process.